breathe real deep and focus into the light of the candle. Keep breathing. Breathe. Stare into the center of the candle. Breathe. Focus on the light of the candle as though it were the center of your own being. Make the candle light you. Concentrate and breathe. You are the light. Breathe. Breathe. Make the light you. You are the light. The light of the candle and I were one. I was the light. Then a strange thing happened. I looked around the bathhouse. The plant behind David glowed with a flickering multicolored aura. Then I saw David's aura. It shimmered and danced like firelight around him. And then I felt myself lift out of my body. I lifted not only above myself in the water, but right through the roof of the building. And attached to my body was a thin silver cord. I soared above the river and the entire landscape. It wasn't a dream. I was actually doing it. I soared upward, upward through the clouds. And then I felt myself change direction. I began to move forward past mountaintops below me. And then I was on my way to the moon. I soared closer and closer to the moon. I was aware of vibrational frequency around it. I couldn't see it. I could only sense the frequency. I felt like a spiritual astronaut, free and unencumbered. And then just behind the moon, I saw a nebula. I wondered if my silver cord would stretch that far. And with that limited thought, I stopped soaring. Slowly, slowly, I felt myself drawn back to the earth, downward, downward. I could see the sunrise on the other side of the globe, and then with a sudden acceleration, I was back in my body. <laughs> Shirley, are you all right? <gasps> What's going on? I was above all of this. I was above the earth. Oh, my God. It was incredible. I was over this planet, and I saw the other side. It was daylight on the other side of the globe. Did you see your silver cord? Yes. <laughs> yes, I saw it. I saw that stuff you talk about. Ah, finally. Oh, my, my. And this, all of this, all of this around me, it was so full of light. I saw auras. The only difference between what you just experienced and dying is that when you pass over for the last time, your silver cord snaps. You know something? If this is dying, then I don't know what there is in life to be afraid of. 